Hello. Um, so as um, as I said, I'm uh, assistant professor uh, at University of Nantes. Um, I will. Uh, I first apologize for the the awful title of my uh, presentation. Uh, in fact, the full story is that um, I uh, wanted to um, to get uh, a public uh, name uh, for this uh, this experience uh, in my new university, and um <coughs> I asked it for uh, uh, the name without the backslash. Uh, at uh, tilde, uh, the uh, ampers the sign, uh, and uh, it was refused. And then, uh, because uh, um, this title was uh, not conforming to the uh, the chart of my university, um, and um, of course, what, what which is normal, they asked me. Um, what I would put behind this name, and I start explaining what I uh, try to put uh, behind this name, and uh, it's uh, exactly uh, what I uh, will explain you uh, during uh, this uh, slot of time. Um <laughs> in fact, um, in uh, the University of Nantes. Uh, we have two entities um, concerned with the uh, scientific heritage. So uh, you, can, uh, you could ask what is the scientific heritage in a university. Um, in fact, it's uh, collecting old uh, objects. Uh, putting this uh, object somewhere, trying to understand what are these objects, uh, trying to uh, find useful documentation concerning those objects, um, and uh, show showing these objects in uh, public expositions um, to explain the story of these objects. Okay. Uh, concerning, of course, physical objects. But uh, in an university, there are plenty of practices and other um, uh, useful um, uh, things such as uh, publications, shows, documents, plenty of collections. Okay. So the these actors have for the, the University of Nantes this uh, not well formalized role. Um, so um, I give you some exam self, uh, example missions. Uh, since uh, um, uh, 207, uh, we formalize an hardware inventory of all the material. Okay, uh, at a computing uh, point of view, uh, uh, it's not uh, very f exciting uh, if I tell you uh, I, uh, I uh, work for an inventory. But uh, I will uh, adjust uh, uh, this one. Uh, as a little quiz, do, could you recognize this? Oh, I saw it's uh, small. <coughs> ah, so. It's a light bottle. Uh, it's a you can see it uh, uh, like uh, uh, the ancestor of a condenser. Um, in fact, uh, sorry, my picture is not uh, is not uh, good quality. Uh, imagine uh, a bottle with uh, some uh, something like aluminium paper inside. Um, 
and uh, a big um, um, a co a central coil and um, uh, some uh, conductor uh, coil outside, something like a coaxial cable, what you today call a coaxial cable. And uh, when you put some uh, um, some current inside with uh, some voltage about uh, uh, 1,000 volts, uh, you can uh, charge this and discharge them. Okay, it's uh, something like a, a smartphone battery in uh, the 19th century. Uh, okay. So this. This object is one of the objects we can find in a university uh, because uh, uh, a colleague of mine used to uh, have in his habits uh, the use of uh, such uh, hardware. Okay? Um, We uh, we propose some uh, in for our missions. Uh, we propose uh, some publication, for example DVDs, for example um, uh, websites, for example uh, papers, uh, for example uh, exhibitions, uh, and a big activity is uh, landing objects for expositions. Uh, in fact. Uh, my own policy at the uh, University of Nantes is uh, to lend object to uh, anybody who asks. Okay? Um, so, um, um, some of my colleagues, n uh, not all of my colleagues share this point of view with me, uh, but uh, anyway, uh, if, you, if you want to, uh, to see a late bottle in action, uh, feel free to ask me at the end of uh, this show. Uh, I, have, I have not this uh, battle uh, with me today, but uh, uh, we, could, um, we could arrange uh, um, for me to, um, to land it. In France, it's a, a f um, nationwide uh, initiative in France. Uh, we have uh, a public website uh, sorry, it's in French. Pastec uh, that um, with many contributors. For example, uh, one of the contributors of uh, this website is uh, Aconit Association. Uh, if you don't know uh, what is Aconit Association, ah, another quiz. Sorry. Uh, who knows what is Aconit Association? Okay, if uh, for the others, uh, just uh, pass this door, and it's there. There is a stand uh, 10 meters left. Okay. Um, so, uh, for example, the Akonit Association acts in Grenoble and uh, in this area for the same kind of missions as mine. Okay. Um, and is a contributor to this uh, website. So maybe to, uh, f to make a, a little feedback uh, to my title, the website will be probably from and the, the uh, domain name I wanted will probably using this one as well. Okay. But that's not my real, of course, my real uh, topic uh, today. Um, as expositions, um, so I give you some sample of exposition. As you can see, these expositions uh, we we 
uh, we participate uh, are not computer specific. So we, uh, the, the exposition title, of, of course, in French because the expositions uh, were led in French. In France, sorry. Um, the first one was concerning medical hardware. The second uh, one uh, was uh, concerning electronic devices and so on. Uh, we con will uh, s topics uh, concerning uh, the University of France activity. S more specifically, uh, something which is in more, more in my concern, and I suppose uh, more in yours, um, concerning computers, information technologies, and so on. No. Security, of course. Um, we have a specific uh, activity on uh, concerning um, the um, uh, preservation of the cultural heritage uh, for computers, computer uh, practices, and so on, since uh, 2010. Uh, for this activity, we are five for the uh, World University of Nantes, including um, some um, other uh, sites. Uh, and uh, I, I, must, um, I must say that I'm the only non-retired member of this uh, team. Um, <laughs> and um, we make, we manage the inventory, description, restoration, exposition of approximately 2,000 to 3,000 objects in this thematics. I'm not completely preci precise here on the number uh, because uh, these objects, some of these objects are uh, land, are exposed, are from other institutions, other than mine, and of course, uh, I would not uh, uh, attribute to my university an object wi which is not from my university. Uh, so the reason uh, why this number is between 2,000 and 3,000, uh, I have no precise idea today of the number of objects because the objects are either uh, very big objects for example, a, a little computer, a Bull uh, DPX2000. Uh, if you don't know uh, what it is, it's uh, uh, one meter, one meter, or one meter. Uh, is the average uh, consumption is about uh, 5,000 watts. Uh, and um, this uh, device uh, can uh, run uh, the wonderful uh, Spix operating system. And um, this uh, device um, was a mini computer of uh, the mid 80s. Okay. Um, so I I could uh, understand why uh, most of you uh, don't know precisely what uh, is this object. So it's an, an, uh, an example of uh, such an object. Another example uh, is a printed circuit, exactly what I found has to be a printed circuit, um, dating from the 60s because I found a date on one ship. Uh, one ship that I, I tested it a little on a spare evening time. Uh, and I convinced myself that this small ship was a transistor. Uh, and I uh, found it quite interesting that I found a transistor in uh, on a printed circuit of the 60s. But uh, I don't know what it, uh, what it was for, this printed circuit. I don't know, uh, I don't even, kno even know uh, what 
um, what was the circuit of this uh, uh, circuit, this uh, device, uh, to the University of Nantes. Okay. Uh, of course, you feel free to say me that for somebody who is speaking to you about the preservation of uh, cultural heritage of your university is not uh, really a good example. Okay, but it's interesting. Okay, um, and uh, I, w I will not uh, describe the, the other uh, uh, 2000 objects. Some uh, exposition examples uh, we recently uh, participated for uh, computer science um, in um, this mission of the university uh, is at the uh, uh, bus where in Nantes. It wasn't too complex for us. Uh, <laughs> But uh, these two expositions, um, we, we made some uh, demonstrations and some uh, exposition of ancient computers, ancient um, information technologies, uh, of approximately uh, three cube meters of uh, such hardware uh, for the first and two for the second. And for the Fête de la Science, it was in the, um, in the building of the University of Nantes, we take, uh, we make uh, us uh, some kind of uh, capture the flag uh, session, um, trying to make plenty of demonstrations with functioning material. Okay? Uh, Functioning material between non-functioning material, functioning hardware between non-functioning hardware, the main difficulties for functioning old hardware is to make them properly functioning the same way they uh, were functioning the time of their, uh, at the time of their um, the use, the historical use. Okay. Uh, in computer, for example, imagine the what could be the difficulty of uh, making um, the functioning of. Uh, you, um, everybody knows what is uh, MS DOS. Uh, I think uh, the person from Microsoft. Uh, uh, who starts the meeting this morning uh, knows what it is. Um, you know uh, what is Minix, the Minix operating system? Uh, do you know what is a Logavax? Oh, just show you uh, what is a Logavax. Uh, this uh, dream hardware, um, a PC, an authentic PC. Um, so its processor is an Intel uh, 8088. Uh, it's an 8-bit processor. Um, it was released uh, in uh, 1985. And it uh, correctly runs MS-DOS version 2.11. Um, we have uh, three functioning uh, Logabax uh, for our mission. So uh, as a demonstration, uh, we put uh, one on the table, another one on the next uh, table, a third one and another table. Uh, one is running uh, MS-DOS uh, version 2.11. The second one is running Minix. No, if you don't know what is Minix, it's a Unix-like operating system uh, running quite correctly on such, an ad, uh, uh, such hardware. Uh, mm, s maybe some of you won't, won't fully agree with me, but uh, 
let's say it's uh, ancestor of Linux. Um, and uh, Minex uh, can drive this uh, computer. So a second one is running uh, Minex. And the last one does, does not want to boot the day of the <laughs> exposition. Uh, that uh, things uh, that are very common uh, in organizi organizing such an exposition. Um, what would you do if you add such a dream configuration behind you? You have one computer running uh, MS-DOS version 2.11, another one, uh, the ancestor of Linux. What uh, do you want to do with them? To plug them, of course. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, uh, you want uh, to share the magnificent output of your C program. Hello world. You wrote a new first uh, logabax to your second logabax. And you uh, make a network with a cable. Have you an idea of uh, what uh, network is available easily on such an hardware? Uh, did you hear of, uh, for example, PPP, point to point protocol? Uh, it's a an easy protocol to uh, deploy uh, between an MS-DOS 2.11 and uh, Minex uh, version 1 using a serial cable um, between these uh, computers. Okay. And it was included in some with some modifications in a Dreamful um, programs like Laplink, Kermit, and things like that, okay? I come back to... Another activity. Um, the, s for the, the same hardware. Um, of course, we, uh, we try to describe its characteristics. Uh, of course, a computer characteristic has some uh, physics uh, here and uh, have some software. Okay. Um, for the, um, the, the physical characteristic, it's quite easy to demonstrate them. But concerning the software characteristics, We have, we face to some uh, domain-dependent uh, problems. Domain-dependent because uh, we work with uh, computers. Uh, computing is a young science. Yeah, uh, young science because uh, as compared to, uh, let's say, uh, anatomy. I think uh, anatomy is older, an older science than uh, computers. But uh, we have a young university, but the problem is not here. The problem is with the more on big data, a first problem. Uh, you could, you, you, you all know what uh, are more on the big data. And um, you, could, you could tell me that uh, more on big da data uh, are not, uh, were not real problems uh, in um, uh, let's say uh, 30 years ago, because uh, 30 years ago, uh, the uh, Morlo said that uh, the computers, the this famous Logabax, uh, its clock uh, is around uh, one megahertz. Okay, 
uh, and uh, it's a storage, oui, sorry, it's storage. It's a uh, uh, floppy disk, a five and square inch floppy, uh, double sides with uh, 360 kilobytes uh, capacity on each side of the floppy. As compared to any smartphone you have, this figure are completely ridiculous. Okay. But, and big data. Uh, as another, um, no, another image, another illustration, the size of the internet 30 years ago was approximately 100 gigabytes. Um, 100 gigabytes. It's uh, what, uh, what you have in uh, any hard drive you can uh, buy anywhere for uh, $10, 10 US. Okay? Mm -hmm. well, maybe I'm a little uh, optimistic, but let's say uh, $30. Um, but the problem is it's evolved. And its complexity, and the problem with data, and the problem with uh, computers, and the problem with Moro is the problem with time. And uh, now, of course, I won't uh, try to uh, to make the demonstration of the size in uh, uh, bytes of the internet today. It's a quite a complex uh, calculation, but it's possible. Uh, the same for the Moro. I won't. Uh, try to compute the number of uh, transistors today, but uh, the problem is that the induced complexity for uh, the preservation of this heritage at the level of a university is a very complex task. At the level of several universities, it's a more complex task. At the worldwide level, it's a very, very complex task. Uh, the, um, the hardware are quickly obsolete, uh, not functioning. Uh, <laughs> uh, a, li a little... Uh, um. Oui, oui, j'ai... Je, je, je passe à la démo. OK. <laughs> Frank asked me to, uh, to, to start demo time. Um, so, um, uh, just to introduce my demo, um, I give you an, a simple problem. Um, so, I started to, to develop it. The webcam. And no, the, uh, okay. So, um, uh, so um, um, as a case study, uh, the, the proposed demo is to uh, demonstrate uh, a piece of software, the Maurice Worm. Uh, if, uh, the Maurice Worm is um, an internet worm uh, at uh, 1986. Um, foc focusing the send mail program, uh, which is a, a mail, uh, mail, ad uh, mail um, transfer agent, um, and it used just-in-time cross-compilation. In fact, uh, the source code of uh, Maurice Worm uh, was uh, C. Um, uh, it's uh, start uh, demo is starting. Uh, <laughs> Ah, so, sorry for the, the delay. Ah, this, uh, mm. ah, sorry. Uh, anyway, 
Uh, for those who, who are interested, ah pardon. Anyway, for for, who, uh, for those who, are, who who will be, I hope, interested uh, for full demos, uh, I give you a, a rendezvous, a meeting point at uh, six o'clock uh, tonight uh, at Amphitheatre uh, H. Um, with a, a fuller demo, but uh, uh, so uh, uh, let's go on. Um, so I give you so, uh, some um, cut sample, uh, historical cut sample uh, first, and uh, then we will uh, start compiling them and uh, with in emulation uh, of. Uh, sorry, of uh, historical hardware. Um, so. Uh, So this um, uh, this uh, directory contains uh, the source codes for a C compiler uh, dating. Oh, sorry, the date here is not correct, of course. Uh, this one is better. Um, It's a, a compiler um, that was used to compile uh, Unix uh, version 1. Okay. So, uh, do you want me to start the compilation of the compiler? Sorry for this uh, experience of no philo. Pardon? Yeah, um, so uh, as a um, yeah, okay. Uh, I will. Uh, I propose you to to see the demonstration at uh, at six o'clock. Uh, it will be simpler for <laughs> for all of us. Well, thank you for your attention. If you have question, um, see you.